Hey people, so welcome to my Vlogmas Day 2. This little series is called Cocinando y Chismeando with me, Cindy. <laughs> so I'm going to tell you all the juicy gossip that I got going on. Cool? Cool. For today's episode, I'm actually going to talk to y'all about the East Coast versus the West Coast while I make some quinoa. I'm honestly inventing food right now. I, I'm just starving and I need, I need to make something. I'm originally from Southern California and now I am in New Jersey. Uh, before New Jersey though, I was in New York. So I got a bit of the experience of like the real like New York life plus now the more like I guess suburby vibe of the East Coast. So. I feel like I have a good perspective of what's going on over here. So real quick, some of the things that I'm going to throw into my quinoa are like tomatoes, um, tiny bit of red peppers, all of mine it kind of went bad and I only saved a couple, uh, garlic and then onions. So I'm frying that over here first. I'm doing it separate because I like frying the quinoa first, I don't know, it just has a better texture I guess and I enjoy that. So first things first, the weather. Let me tell y'all, San Diego, I regret complaining so much about the weather there because honestly, it was so beautiful. Like, even on a cloudy, gloomy day, at least it wasn't like 30 degrees outside. It was, you know, maybe like 50 at worst. Uh, but here, a gloomy day here means like 20 degrees, 30 degrees. It's bad. <laughs> and the gloomy days are far more often and random. At least in San Diego, you could be like, oh, June gloom or like, gray may i don't know that thing but it was predictable a little more predictable and like seasonal whereas here it could be a beautiful summer day for like a week long and then all of a sudden you have like every other day is just gray and crazy and the wind <laughs> the wind here oh my gosh if i thought i could get staticky hair in san diego your hair is gonna be beyond like crazy here and then in the winter, you also have to wear your poofer jackets here, so the poofer material makes it even more staticky. Ooh, so complicated. I feel like I need to live in Trencitas all of winter or something because otherwise my hair will be like sticking to my face like this. It is not fun. Over here, it is definitely way more humid. So in the summer, it's not just hot, like really hot. It's also sticky, fun. In the West Coast, it's definitely more of like a dehydrating heat, like drink your Gatorade or you're gonna pass out kind of heat. Whereas here, it's just kind of like, you know, go find air conditioning and you're fine. Um, that, I don't know, it depends. If you like sticky, it's fine. If you don't, West Coast is better for that, for sure. I completely forgot the possibility of hurricanes happening when I moved here. And then I was like, yeah, huh, the Jersey Shore did get destroyed by a hurricane. So there's that. However, in California, there's more fires, I guess. So just pick. Do you want to like die by fire or die by flooding? The craziest thing here, or like the best thing, I guess, here is that there's season. So you can see when it's fall. You can see when it's winter. Check out my Instagram. I have some pictures there. You could see the actual seasons changing for you. Um, whereas in California, it kind of looks the same all the time. However... When it's approaching fall season, I did not know this was a thing, but we drive to Pennsylvania pretty often and what the yeah. all the trees along the freeway are covered in like this white, like spider webby looking stuff and you think, oh maybe like, I don't know, it's like cobwebs or whatever, cobwebs in the middle of the freeway, no, they're actual spiders. There's like a legit spider season here where all of the trees outside just get covered in white like if you're in a horror film covered in white it's terrifying so if you're not into spiders do not like come here i'm gonna turn this off before i burn it <laughs> now we're gonna compare scenery i didn't think this was a thing a whole category on its own until i realized how much i miss the scenery in california so in california you can literally take a drive on any freeway look to the left you'll see one like beautiful art of nature look to the right you'll see another and it'll be like all the elements are in your face at all times 360 degrees so where i lived for instance i could see the ocean to the left and then i could see the mountains to the right and i just see trees everywhere it was beautiful here you look to the left and you'll see like an old abandoned warehouse and you look to the right and you'll see 
like a shack and then you'll see a garage and then it's just like what like where are things and then if you peep right on the main avenue through like all of the buildings you'll see the skyline of like beautiful new york and like all the other buildings so when they say like concrete jungle like legit if you're in actual new york of course all you see is really really tall buildings and then the sun seems to no longer exist because it's hidden by all of the buildings so if you're into that sort of thing and you love seeing like architecture and more structural scenery new york is for you but if you do like to see nature and like other things besides i guess rats and birds pigeons as nature Definitely the West Coast is winning. You can just drive up to like upstate New York or like up there in Jersey and then you'll have lots of awesome hikes. The hikes here are definitely like way more like naturey. Like okay, where I was in, in Southern California it was more of like a thirty minute hike, you know, like a twenty minute hike or whatever, whatever, and you kind of like can find your way back here. If you get lost on a hike, you better like be bare grills or como se llama? MacGyver or what's the freaking name? Boy Scout, an ex-Boy Scout or something because you're gonna need to figure out how to survive. Like, do not get lost. If you get lost here, you take a wrong turn, you're gonna be in the woods for at least an extra hour or two. We've learned that lesson many times. Over there, it's like, you know, like beautifully marked and like they even have handrails for you. They do not have that here. Category number three, commuting. Oh, I forgot to add my corn. If you're in New York, you absolutely do not want a car, you do not need a car. It is amazing public transportation, like, you'll hear New Yorkers complain, but try living in, like, again, like, San Diego, where a bus, if you miss one bus in the West Coast, you're stuck there for, like, another hour, half an hour, depending, you know, if you're lucky. Um, here, if you miss one bus, you miss one subway, like five minutes, there's another one, but you'll still hear New Yorkers complain. Patience, people, patience. Stuff. I feel like I need like I need to simmer this. I'm gonna throw some cute. Now, if you're in Jersey or basically anywhere else, like Pennsylvania or Maryland or anything like that, everything is a toll road. Literally, everything is a toll road here. Over there in like San Diego, Los Angeles, like you'll find a toll road here and there as like a luxury item almost like a Oh, you can save 30 minutes in traffic by taking this lovely new toll road, right? Here the most common highway is like a toll road Everything uh, costs to drive. You need an easy pass So everyone has this thing in their car where you just doom pass and like it charges you and like there's no discount Nope, it's just like you have to pay every single time the full amount so to get to New York Every single time it's at least 16, 17 bucks. I always have my GPS set to like avoid toll roads because oh my goodness, you would spend so much money on that. Plus gas. However, gas in the West Coast, super crazy, five dollars a gallon almost. Uh East Coast, one dollar. Literally a dollar or two. And people will be like, oh my god, two dollars, the price is going up, it's so high. And I'm like, wow, it's a blessing. Over there, you'll complain about like LA traffic, you know, I get it, it's it's pretty bad. Um, something about it though is that, at least in the West Coast, it's a little more predictable and like scheduled, you know, whereas here it's just consistent pretty much, unless it's like 3 in the morning. Give you an example, I used to live in Brooklyn and my boyfriend lived in Jersey. Well, still lives here, we live here now. <laughs> and my boyfriend lives in Jersey. So. That's actually only 14 miles away, and in San Diego, that commute for me of 14 miles took 10 minutes max, right? Here, that will take you an hour and a half and like 20 bucks later to give you a ratio, or to give you an example. It's bad. So that's due to traffic, due to toll roads, due to... Um, people just being crazy drivers and people just stopped in the middle of the road. It's a thing here. People in New York just stop in the middle of the road, do whatever they want, everyone's beeping. It's pretty crazy. So yeah, that's very different. Two tablespoons. We'll do two tablespoons of nor. 
into this guy. I think another important thing to know is like culture differences. So in San Diego, um, it's very like, there's lots of cultures, however, communities are very mixed and it's very, you know, everyone just gets along with everyone and everyone just intertwines with everyone. Um, where I used to live though, there's like definitely little communities where they're more like geared towards one culture or the other. So you'll find a lot of certain markets in that culture. Um, you'll find like ethnic foods and like that kind of thing, like uh, geared into one area of town. Um, but over here, it's like legit walking into a new like country every single couple blocks, like legit. So in New York, there's the Korea town, there's um, Chinatown, there's uh, Little Italy. There's literally everything. And these aren't just like in San Diego where it was like, oh, Little Italy and like Italian food. No, it's like legit Italians everywhere, like roaming the streets, a ton of them. Um, in, in Like in Koreatown, everyone's Korean, like everyone's Korean. And Chinatown, everyone's chi Chinese, like super crazy. Where I lived in Bushwick, it was all Dominicans just a ton of Dominicans and the music's blasting and like culture immersed like completely into whatever whatever culture was living there the majority of it at least so and then one block was like all Puerto Ricans and like flags everywhere it was very intense but it was so awesome because you could just see like everything and me being Mexican I like didn't think I would see street carts and like vendors here um like it did in Mexico like in TJ but oh my god, it was amazing. You could buy like a conchita down the street and your hot chocolate and your chata and you can get your little wheels, yantitas con chamoy and everything. And I was like, what? Like that they don't have in San Diego or in most places in the West Coast. So I thought that was super dope. What am I going to do now? Throw it into my quinoa. So that's very mushy. Mushy gushy. It's almost like a sauce. I hope it tastes good. We're gonna add cayenne pepper. Make it a little spicy. And some cilantro. You know I never measure anything, just throw it until it looks good. Make sure you look. While that starts to cook, let me actually put a cap on it. Well, I think those are like the biggest things that I can think of that differ from the West Coast to the East Coast. I hope I like categorized everything correctly. So for my next video, I will actually be showing you the final result of this and eating it. So wait for tomorrow. What did that quinoa look like? But uh, that was it for today's episode of Cocinando y Chismeando. See you guys tomorrow. Bye. Totally forgot to like ask, but based off of all of that, uh, comparison between the East and the West Coast. What do you guys think is sounds better the West Coast or the East Coast? And if you are from the East Coast or are from the West Coast Did I nail it or am I totally off? What was your experience between the two? Um, but yeah, vote below or leave a comment. What do you think? Uh, West Coast? Team West Coast or Team East Coast? Okay, see you guys!